Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. Just come together with us right now. We're going to give the Lord some praise.
Wow. Welcome, everybody. So glad you're with us today. Before you guys go, listen. This world, there's people out there all around that are trying to bring down the anthem of America. But there is an anthem that they'll never bring down. And that's that anthem they were singing up tonight. It's rising up all around. Yes. The anthem of the Lord's Lord. renown. Yes. And I want you all to sing that again. And I want you to hear this. And I want you to lift your hands as it says. And let's sing to the Lord's renown. And let the whole earth hear it. Yes. Let's sing it as unto the Lord one more time. It's rising up all around. It is rising up all around. It's the anthem of the Lord. He said, this earth one day will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord. Amen. Well, welcome, you guys. Thank you, guys, so much for your faithfulness. Thank you, uh, Brother Chris, for filling in for Pastor Lindell. We want to say hello to Pastor Lindell at home today. We pray you are in complete recovery. And he is. He's doing much, much better. Thank you all so much for your prayers for uh, Pastor Lindell. We appreciate that so much. Um, I want to do want to go to prayer right now. We're, we're going to pray for some of the people that we know in our household is sick. I'm not going to call all the names, but I want you to pray at home. You can just close your eyes, bow your head or keep your eyes open, however you want to do it. But we're going to pray right now for those in the, the hospitals. There are some at Sierra View with COVID. Uh, some are very critical. Some are just hospitalized, but whatever it is. Lord, we are still asking you in the name of Jesus to create a mighty wind that will blow this thing from off the face of the earth in Jesus' name. Lord, it's just as simple as you waving your hand or breathing a breath and it's gone in the name of the Lord. What the doctors cannot do, what scientists cannot do, our God, mighty and strong, can do it in just a moment. Father, I thank you for touching Pastor Lendl in a special way. Father, just causing a complete speedy recovery on him. In Jesus' name, the others that are sick in their bodies, Lord, under the weather, we bless them in the name of Jesus. May they be whole and full of health this day. Amen. Well, the Lord bless you. Um, I'm going to give my offering right now, and I'm going to ask you to remember us this week, uh, church, especially Landmark family, because this is the week that we give to our missionaries. In fact, I talked to our missionary today, Brother Matt Mann. Matt and Debbie Mann went to Botswana, Africa years ago, and their children were small, and the children uh, went to Botswana with them, and the kids loved it there in Africa. Now the kids are all grown up, and I got a call from Brother Matt today, and of course, the borders have been closed in Africa, and they can't get back, and so missionaries are pretty much just spread out all over the world, but uh, our Botswana missionary is there, um, stuck in Springfield, Missouri. Now that's a great city. I've been there many times, and our Beautiful friends, brother, our pastor Wayne Neal and Justin Groves, they pastor there at the Landmark Church in Stratford. So I asked uh, Brother Mann to go check them out and see the church. 
and uh, promised him we would send him a good offering this week. We send them a, an offering every month along with some other uh, Helen Trowbridge and some of the other ministries, seven or eight ministries we give to every month. But this is our giving week, so if you would remember that when you're sending in your tithe and your offering, I'm going to get mine right now and um, uh, take it over. I'll just leave it right here. And, and if you want to come and get this, you can give it and put it in for me. At this time, um, I'm probably away resting, but we just are honored that you are here tonight as we uh, set up this service, and it will go on live on, at 10 o'clock Sunday morning, and I pray you're all watching, praying for each other. Amen. Don't forget Wednesday night, Bible study, 630, still in the uh, uh, Family Enrichment Center, unless we tell you otherwise, we may move back in here. But for now, we're still over there. So we'll let you know that. I also want to mention, please check out our Landmark website. Uh, it's uh, in the process of being built. We're adding some things. But you can visit there. You can leave prayer requests. You can also do that on Facebook. Which we are so glad to be um, mouthpieces for the Lord and ambassadors in his kingdom. Don't forget that you're an ambassador for Jesus. We are his ambassadors. Now, I'm going to give you a special word tonight, and uh, I want you to, by the way, to get your emblems ready, because this is the last Sunday of the month, and this is when we have our communion service, um, and remember the Lord in that communion, so we're going to do that in just a few minutes. But uh, this is going to be a little different this morning, because I am giving you um, a word that the Lord gave to me. Now, many of you know that I don't do this often. I may just send out a word, but tonight I am going to release a prophetic word that the Lord gave me uh, early in the morning between one and three o'clock this morning. And uh, he began to talk to me. I got up, began to write it down. And uh, I hope that you can see this over and over. Or you can take notes. Um, but I, I, I want you to hear this. Now, uh, Chris had no idea where I was going tonight. And some of the songs he sang just tied right in with what I'm going to tell you. So I think I'm just going to read this word. So I will stay out of the mix. And you will just get this word from the Lord. So I'm going to just release this word to you tonight. Here's what I felt in my spirit. The Lord says there are three waves of my spirit that are coming upon the church. Three waves of my spirit are soon to come. The first wave will be a wave of fearlessness. I don't think I've ever heard about a wave of fearlessness, but the Lord saw that we needed that. He said there will be a wave of fearlessness. This wave will release a holy boldness to my people. They will become as the lion of tribe, as the lion of the tribe of Judah. They will be as lions and lionesses in complete fearlessness. They will be a mighty force upon this earth. Now listen to this part, church. I'm really excited about this. He says the next generation will join with you. They will join with us, the next generation, the young people. I will cause them to maintain its strength and carry it to their generation and to the next. This will be nothing less than the mind of Christ. When this wave comes upon the earth, it will be noted that it came from the heaven, the heavens in the 2020s. Number two, he spoke of a wave of power, a wave of power. Now that fearlessness wave, the fearless wave will be followed by a great wave of power. Number two, a wave of power, power that has not been seen in the church since the early church was birthed. This will become a pandemic on my church globally. 
the young people will run with it as though it were a fad. The gifts will be restored in this wave, and so will the fruits of my spirit. When he says that this will become a pandemic, a pandemic is something that covers the entire world. But see, that's what the Bible says in the book of Habakkuk. It says the knowledge of the glory of the Lord will cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. This is soon to come. It will be a pandemic. It will replace what you're seeing now. As that glory, it's the knowledge of the glory of the Lord that will cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. See, that's what happened in the early church. It was a knowledge of his glory. It was a knowledge of his miracle working power. It was the knowledge of salvation. It was the knowledge of the Holy Spirit come to earth. Oh, no, we will go out of here in much greater power than we were birthed in. Number three, there will be a wave and this is something I have never heard put together, uh, two words put together like this, but it will be a wave of healing love, a wave of healing love. And he referred to Ezekiel chapter 47, verse 9. As this wave is released, it will pour out, listen to this now, it will pour out my love, Upon my people, which is so pure, my love is so pure and it's so glorious that it will produce healing. My love is full of compassion, so full of compassion that it will release miracle healing from the voice of God in your mouth. Your mouth or your voice will become my compassionate mouthpiece. That will produce healing as the waters of Ezekiel that he spoke about when he said, wherever the waters go, healing came. Wherever the waters go, whatever it touches will live. And then Jesus said in the book of John, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. I'll tell you, folks, I saw this. These three waves, I saw them as tsunamis. They were not just waves, but tsunamis of his glory and his power. The fearlessness, the holy boldness that will come upon his church. And then the power, and then his healing love. Healing love. Let me just rehearse that one more time. As this wave is released, it will pour out my love upon my people. My love, which is so pure and so glorious that it will produce healing. My love is so full of compassion that it will release miracle healing from the voice of God in your mouth. Your voice will become my compassionate mouthpiece. My voice that will produce healing as the waters Ezekiel spoke about. Wherever the waters go, it will live. Wherever the waters went, they were healed. And then Jesus said, out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. Rivers of healing waters. Now listen. He went on to say these waves, these three waves will overpower godlessness. And replace it with conviction and holiness. Those that have been on the fence spiritually will awaken. The old wineskins are being soaked right now and have been for the past few years. More in the past few months. The old wineskins are being soaked right now, and at times it has felt as though you were drowning in a sea of confusion. But the confusion you are feeling comes from saying goodbye. Listen to me, church. Oh, God, I praise you. I thank you, Jesus. But the confusion you feel comes from saying goodbye to the sacred cows of religion. 
The confusion you feel comes from saying goodbye to self-righteousness. The things that you thought that made you righteous. No, you were just simply the righteousness of God. Our righteousness is as filthy rags. So he said, you begin to feel pretty, pretty confused when you're saying goodbye to the old religious sacred cows. And you're saying goodbye to self-righteousness. He wanted me to remind you that you are not drowning. No, folks, we're not drowning. You are being prepared and soaked. So you will be ready to carry this new wine to the masses. If the old wine skin is not soaked, then it will burst forth and the wine will spill out and it will be a total waste. So he said, I had to soak my people to prepare them to carry this new wine to the masses. Tell them to ride my spirit waves. Stay on the waves and in the waves. For you will be as Caleb, who had a different spirit in him, and he followed me fully. I will bring him into the land and he shall inherit it. God said to tell you that he has great and mighty things that no tongue can tell, no mind can comprehend, no eye has seen, no ear has heard the things that he has laid up for his people in this last hour. Those who, like Caleb, have a different spirit and we follow him fully. He said, I'll bring you into the land and you will inherit, inherit it. And I heard the Lord say this, as with Saul, 1 Samuel 10, 6, the spirit of the Lord will come upon you and your children and your children's children. And you will prophesy and they will prophesy and you will be turned into another man, saith the Lord. These days are rapidly approaching. Prepare yourself. Feed on my word. Feed on me, the bread of life. And feed on my healing blood. My redeeming blood. And I close with this. The last line that I wrote down by the Spirit of the Lord was this. This church will not be known as she is known right now, saith the Lord. Now I want you to get your emblems and let's come to the table. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave that. There's nothing I can add to it. Certainly wouldn't take anything away from it. But we are going to come to the table of the Lord. When the children of Israel came to the table, they were celebrating the little lamb that brought them out of Egypt's bondage. But when Jesus sat down with his disciples, he said, no longer will you celebrate that. You will now celebrate my life dying on the cross for your sins. I will give all of my blood for you and I will, I will die and I will rise again. And he said, as often as you do this, remember me. Now, remember when I talked about a pandemic carrying the earth or covering the earth, it was like that in the early days of Pentecost. In Acts chapter 2 and 3 and 4, as you read on, you saw where that early church, it was about a 200-year pandemic. Oh, it lasted for years and it turned the world, the Bible said it turned it upside down. They're preaching, I mean, they were added to the church daily, such as should be saved. 3,000 and then 5,000. Oh, they preached with boldness and power. Church, this is how we are going out of here. Every single one of us under the sound of my voice that loves God. To those who follow him closely, follow him wholly. Your heart is after him. He said you will be turned into a new man and you will prophesy. I want you to hold up the bread of life. Would you take it in your hands and take that little cracker? The Bible says... Is not the bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? Oh, yes, it is. For we, though many, are one bread, one body, for we are all 
we will all, for we all partake of that one bread. That's what we're going to do right now. So get your bread. We are one body. We are one bread. And we partake of that one bread, Jesus. Would you eat of the Lord's body? Lord, as often as we do this, we remember you. For you are our body and we are one body. And you, Lord, you are one bread. And we eat of this bread together in Jesus' name. And then if you lift the cup, I pray that you're doing it this at home and you've got your children gathered around. Let us partake together. This I'm reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 16. Paul says, the cup of blessing which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, oh yeah, it's a communion of the body of Christ. So let us take of this cup of blessing today, church. For it is the communion of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. We commune with him. We are in communion with him. We are one body, one flesh, one spirit, and we belong to Jesus. One family, one church, one God. We love you, Lord, and we honor you. We drink together of your blood, Lord. We remember your death until you come. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we bless your name. Lord, we thank you for speaking to us today. Lord, I thank you for the wave of fearlessness that is coming. I thank you that it is nothing less than the very soundness of your own mind. Oh, the sound mind of Christ. We thank you, Lord, that we are lionesses and lions. A part of that tribe that you came from, Jesus, the lion and the tribe of the Lord. Lord, we shall walk in holy boldness. Oh, in Jesus' name, we receive that tsunami wave upon us in the name of the Lord. Father, we receive that wave of power. We receive that wave of healing love. May you empty out the abundance of our hearts that our hearts may be full of abundance of your love and your glory. Father, may you send those waves sooner than we think as we are being soaked, Lord. I know sometimes it's painful. You even said sometimes we feel like we're in confusion while we're being soaked. But it's a good thing for us. May we rise in power and in strength as we have received your body. You said, feed on me, feed on my word, and feed on my blood. Well, Lord, we just did that, and we will continue. We honor you and bless your name this day in Jesus name. Amen. May the Lord bless you now and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he turn his countenance toward you and give you peace. May peace rule over your home, over your marriage, over your life, over your relationships. I bless you this day with health, wealth, and blessing in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen.